Hi, welcome to Scorpion Miles video on transformation matrices. In this video, we're going to focus on the transformation matrix, which is a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin or a 270 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin. And that's the matrix 0, minus 1, 1, 0. So here we've got the unit square, and I'm going to multiply each of these points by the transformation matrix to show you that this transformation matrix is the 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin. So in other words, bring in this unit square from here into this quadrant. So let's have a look and see. So let's take our matrix 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and we're going to multiply by each of the points. So let's start off with the point that's at the origin, the point 0, 0. Now because this rotation is about the origin, this point should stay where it is. So let's multiply this first row by the column. So 0 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 0 is 0, and adding them together is 0, so the x coordinate is 0. Then taking the second row and times it by the column, so 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, and adding them together again is 0. So the point that's at the origin will stay there. Okay, next, we're now going to multiply the point A, which is the point 1, 0 by the matrix. So our matrix is 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and the point A is 1, 0. And we're going to multiply them together. And because it's a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation about the origin, it should move from here to where the point C is, the point 0, 1. So let's have a look and see. So again, multiplying the first row by the column. So 0 times 1 is 0, minus 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 0. And now multiplying the second row by the column, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 1. So we move to the point 0, 1, which is there. So the point A dash is there. Next, the point B, the point 1, 1. If we were to hit this 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin, it should move to here, minus 1, 1. So let's have a look. 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And we're going to multiply it by the point B, which is the point 1, 1. And when we do that, we get, well, 0 times 1 is 0. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, so it'll be minus 1. And then the second row by the column, 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 1 is 0, adding them together is 1. So it moves to the point minus 1, 1, so it does move to there. So that's the point B dash. And finally, the point C, which is the point 0, 1. When we rotate at 90 degrees anti-clockwise by the origin, it should move to here, which is the point minus 1, 0. So let's have a look and see. So we've got 0, minus 1, 1, 0, and we're multiplying it by the point 0, 1. So again, let's take the first row and multiply it by the column. So 0 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Next, the second row, 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0, adding them together is 0. So it moves to the point minus 1, 0, which is here. So that's the point C dash. So when we join up that square, we get it looks something like this, and it has been rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin, or 270 degrees clockwise about the origin. And that's it.